Hello there, welcome back to Creeper World 2 Redemption Anniversary Edition. I am Timix. And the last time we finished Moxie a Choice, we've got some politics going on within the NHA. And we're also ready to start the second series of five, the second act, as it were. So it appears that, uh, you know, it's probably going to start getting a little bit more difficult. So let's see what's in store for us in Chaos. Still an obliteration game. Destroy all creeper and enemy structures. Commander, we've arrived at UC-1339. I hope you know what we're doing. Deviating from mission parameters is a very serious offense. Wait a minute. This can't be. Faro, what is it? Faro? This can't be right, Commander. The ship isn't detecting the carrier signal for Rift Space. Hold on. I've run a diagnostic. The Rift Scope is functioning correctly. It's like Rift Space no longer exists. We're marooned. Steady, Lieutenant. Let's work with what we have. Scan the old subspace channels for any signals or transmissions. Those channels haven't been used in thousands of years. Still, it's worth a try. Give me a moment to recalibrate the sensor array. Anything? Commander, I'm getting a signal. It's got an NHA identification tag. I'm patching it to your screen. Attention all agents of the New Human Alliance. This is Admiral Abraxas. Do not attempt to return to Colony Prime. I repeat, do not attempt to return to Colony Prime. Vast waves of Creeper from over 1,000 source worlds are approaching Colony Prime. We estimate that contact with the foremost waves will occur in less than 28 hours. All agents of the New Human Alliance are ordered to find and assist any scattered survivors, but do not return to Colony Prime even if you regain access to Rift Space. That sucks. Though all may seem lost, do not lose hope and always remember your duty. May the gods be with us all. Abraxas out. Huh. That's it, Dax. After this, the message loops. Are we going to inform the crew? They have a right to know Vero, but let's do it after the mission. I need their full attention on the task at hand. Okay, so indeed things are all of a sudden not going as well as anticipated. Apparently the Creeper... Um, ...don't like the fact that uh, we're retaking territory, and they've launched a massive attack at uh, what I assume is our capital, Colony Prime. Let's see what we have here on this world that we're not even supposed to be at. Okay, we got Creeper coming in from the side. Um. See if we can get a blaster down there in time. Yep, we can't. Okay. Let's put one in the air. Looks like they're going to break through these parts, and then we'll have room to occupy the middle. I think that's where we're going. Oh, there's only a certain amount of it. It's not, uh, it's not infinite. Okay. Well then. Definitely want to throw down mostly reactors here. And of course we're going to want a beacon. I'm going to move into this area. Let's get that uh, blaster down here.
strange, says Lieutenant Varro Hale. What is it, Varro? This holocube contains various media, mainly music and documentaries from before the Great Exodus. How could it have gotten here? I've given up on believing in coincidences, smart man. Run a complete analysis on the holocube. Nothing. Hold on, we've got a hit. The Visionomeric filter has decrypted a set of 13 numbers encoded in the signal. The strange thing is that 12 of these numbers are the exact frequencies we use to access rift space. And the final number? A subtle variation on the 13th frequency. Enter those frequencies into the rift scope. Rift space. It's back. But that's impossible. Rift space is part of the physical universe. It's governed by the laws of physics. I know, Varro. Changing the frequencies used to access rift space would be the same as tinkering with the value of pi, or the gravitational constant. You're taking all this rather well, the demotion of the laws of physics to mere guidelines. <laughs> I just love the way they just throw this stuff. Oh yeah, we're just gonna... <laughs> the, wa the laws of physics have decided to, uh, you know, to change. They've just decided to change. Eliana once confided in me that she believed the Creeper might not have been acting alone. She thought there could have been some other agent acting in concert with the Creeper 30 years ago. If the Creeper did have an ally, the launch of our campaign against the Creeper may have forced its hand. And what better time to strike? The majority of the NHA fleet is off-world, simultaneously reactivating the Creeper and disabling our access to Rift space puts the NHA in a perilous situation. No kidding. It seems too concerted to be... Coincidental? I agree. Head up to engineering and see if you can rig up a subspace transmitter from spares. We need to get these frequencies back to Colony Prime. Will do, Commander. But I should point out that even with the new frequencies, we won't be able to do much more than jump into Rift space and pop out at some random world. It could take months to recalibrate the Rift engine to properly use the new frequencies. Awesome. Well, either way, we've got to handle the situation here. Okay, so... Let's uh, get a couple more reactors up here. Might as well fill the sides. Oh, let's throw a beacon on that one. Can't dig over here anyway, so might as well just throw reactors everywhere. That was probably too many to build at once. Do I just move something by this? Commander, these are the schematics for a launcher. I have taken the liberty of integrating them into our systems. The launcher is especially effective against dense concentrations of Creeper. Excellent. The schematics for a contemporary weapon system on an uncolonized world? How could this be? Perhaps Admiral Abraxas launched it in a probe before Rift Space was disabled. Perhaps the gods pity us. Perhaps this is all hogwash. Or perhaps an old ally of ours has entered the fray. Platius? Okay, so, yeah, let's throw up a tech dome. Want to at least try out the launcher. Let's get one of those built. I 
work my way over here too. We got all this fun stuff. throw a beacon over there on the left. this one over here. Don't need to, I don't think, but what the heck. Couple more blasters. Or rigs all around this thing. Definitely uh, overbuilding here. I should be a little bit more cautious, a little more strategic in how fast I throw this stuff up. It appears it doesn't send packets to these until it's got enough to go to the regular building. fire in place. Play a couple of them. I need another beacon to proceed further down here. That seems like a good place for it. Boosting packet speed for the first time. I like having a couple packet speeds as soon as I can get them. Alright, nullifier number two. What do we have down here? Two more of those, pretty much. Let's use this ore. Let's get a couple makers. 
just have them sit over here and float all the way down. I think that's going to be the best way to get through this next part with these narrow things. Or we could just excavate. Maybe do both. Let's get a few more blasters ready. Alright. Let's produce at two times speed each and see where that leaves us on our ore. Produce. Handle that easily. Alright, both produce at four times speed then. Alright, they're gonna fill up, gradually work their way down. I'd like to put them here. There's, yeah, they're, they're, they're gonna work their way down. So let's, let's create a hole. Make it nice and wide, four by four. Gradually move the launchers and the blasters through. And attack it this way. here. I'm going to want one on the other side. Producing. I'm going to throw a couple more makers on here. After all, there's uh, nothing like overkill. Wondering what I have to do to do I just oh my goodness I just click on them and it'll start sending stuff to them that's how that works. Grr. Okay, so you have to click on the uh, the special resources or whatever they are to activate. That's the right word. There we go. got a really ridiculous amount of maker coming through, which is exactly what we want. Let's press the attack. No, I don't want that. Let's throw a beacon on the side here. Yeah, that'll get us down close enough to use nullifiers.
think we should just be able to keep pressing downward to take care of this. Interesting little level here. I have one on each side, well one on this side anyway. Launcher is lowering the density of it down here. Just because I'll update the packet speed one more time. Upgrade, rather. Yep, launcher doesn't need to go any further. Time to say goodbye to those emitters. Okay. Well, that was chaos. Kind of an interesting little level. Uh, learned something new there. You have to click on the holocubes and the remnants and the crystals and all those wonderful fun specials in order to activate them. And have the Liberation ship uh, send out the packets I need to recover them. Um... But yeah, I mean, it wasn't particularly challenging, but uh, that part at the beginning was a little scary with the creeper flowing down the sides. Other than that, pretty straightforward, interesting mission. And from a plot point of view, of course, stuff starting to go uh, quite sideways for the NHA. So that creeper counterattack, um, pretty sure we're going to have some more hairy moments ahead. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. We'll be back next time with more Creeper World 2.